This is problem three, a will it move problem that's not on an incline. It says a 70 kilogram box is being pushed on a horizontal, horizontally with a force of 450 newtons. Coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.1. Coefficient of static friction is 0.2. What is the box acceleration? So step one, let me draw a picture. Person pushing on the box. Step two, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a free body diagram. Force of the push, force of the weight of the box, force of friction, and the normal force. Okay. Step three, I'm going to go ahead and figure out if this thing is going to move or not. And then if it is, I'll determine the acceleration. So the will it move part will be a comparison. In this case, between force of friction, static max and the force of the push. So i got to figure out those two values. Push is already given as 450, so this is what i got to figure out. So force of friction static max, we do that, let's see if we can see this, we do that over here. Force of friction static max will equal mu sub s times the normal. Okay, to get the normal, Okay, I'll have to take a look at my free body diagram. That's in the y direction. So I'm going to have to sum the forces in the y direction. And since it's not moving up and down all in the y, we know the acceleration is zero. All right. Normal plus weight equals zero. So I need to know the weight. The weight is m times g or in this case, 70 times a negative 9.8. The weight is negative 686 newtons. So now I have what the normal force is. Normal force is 686 newtons. So plug in over here. We know mu and we know the normal. Mu was given in the problem as 0.2, 686. And as a reminder, uh, this equation here only gives the magnitude of the static friction max. If we were going to assign a, put a sign on it, we'd have to decide. Okay? But for our comparison, I have absolute value, so it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, but it would be... Negative, you're going to put the sign on it, negative 137.2 newtons. So at this point, we can say that, yes, it moves. Okay, we've done this comparison, and the push, the push or pull is bigger than maximum static friction. We overcame static max. So now we have to sum the forces in the x direction, and now we're going to use kinetic friction since we know it's going to move. Look at your free body diagram for this step. You got a push and friction, that's it. And since it's moving, kinetic friction equals MAX. We know what M is, we know what push is. We need to get friction kinetic. So that'll be mu sub K times the normal, which we already calculated. So 0.1 times 686 newtons. So we get a, oh, 66, or 68.6, so 68.6 newtons. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the sign on it now. Now plug back into here. We've got friction kinetic, we've got push from the problem, and we've got the mass from inside the problem. Told us what the mass and the push were. So the push is 450. Friction will be that minus 68.6 newtons. Why is it negative? Push is going to the right. Friction is going to the left. Double check your sign when you're plugging in after this step. Equals the mass, which was given as 70 kilograms, times the acceleration. When you go ahead and solve that, you'll get an acceleration in the x direction of 
four or five meters per second squared. Uh, obviously, the acceleration in the y direction is zero because of what we said way back here. So this is it for the acceleration, 5.45 meters per second squared. That's it.